Okay, this is Tim with Grip and Rip Racing Products. Um, when you're aligning the clutches with our tool, on some sleds you're going to have to uh, adjust the offset or move this clutch out. Um, there's a shim kit to do that and some people have asked uh, just for a quick video to see how to remove that shaft. It's real easy. You get a, a ratchet wrench, 13 millimeter. It helps if you have one that you can lock at an angle. Get in here. There's a bearing retainer. If you can see it in there. Get on that nut. Loosen that nut up. And you're going to take the nut off. Try not to drop it in the belly pan. And take this retainer off. Um, that's the first step. And then I'll go over to the other side. Okay, now that you've got the uh, bearing retainer off and nut, can move over to the mag side here. Um, first thing you do is get a flat screwdriver, pop this chain case cover off. Then you need a 15 millimeter socket. Lock your brake to hold the uh, hold everything so you can loosen it. Loosen that gear bolt and washer that's going to come out. Careful not to drop it. Take that out. And then what's really handy is if you have one of these tools from uh, C&T Power Sports. It's got a threaded rod on that end. And this is the same diameter as the shaft. So you put it in here. Screw it all the way into the end of the shaft. What's that going to do is hold your top gear and chain from dropping down and slide through the bearing and the oil seal that's on the other side. So then take a rubber hammer, tap it, the bearing came out of the other side, and slide that through a little ways so you know it's through the uh, seal. And then you can reach around, hold this, and unscrew the shaft from this tool. goes it's all out so now the tools holding everything together and you can go around to the other side and take the shaft right out okay now the shafts loose and you can slide it right out through okay we have um, depending on what you need to shim your driven out we have two kits C&T Power Sports makes this kit it's uh, three millimeters this uh, big one goes in here to space the uh, bearing out and this smaller one goes on the end of the shaft to uh, space that out. All you do is slide it over and you put it back in just like that. And kind of reverse the steps that you've already done. Um, in the kit there's two more washers and those are going to go on the bearing retainer right here. So when you put that back on and tighten it up it doesn't bend this retainer over because your bearings further out. Um, if you don't need three millimeters we have another kit. This one's 1.5 millimeter um, so you can fine-tune your offset. Okay the last step on this is uh, you slide your shaft back through, screw your tool onto the end of the shaft and then you can pull it through the bearing and it's going to stop against your uh, top sprocket. So the, the last little trick to using this tool is get a flat screwdriver and push some pressure on that top sprocket and then turn this tool until the uh, sprocket engages the splines. There it goes. Then you can take the tool out. Then take the tool out, put your bolt back in, put the bearing retainer on the other side and you're all done.